it's Amy from Infinity Personal Training. Today I'm going to show you how to make my favorite thing in the whole wide world, hot chocolate. Um, I'm sure many of you know I am absolutely obsessed with hot chocolate. So when Ray and I started our health journey, I had to figure out a way to make it and not use the Swiss Miss packets because those are terrible for you. So it's still hot chocolate. I'm going to show you how to make it with three ingredients, but use it as a treat. Don't drink it every day. Um, it still has sugar and things in it, so just make sure you're using this as a once in a while thing. So I'm going to show you three different three ingredients. I'm going to also tell you other things you can add into it to make it a little bit different. So we're going to use a cup and a half of unsweetened almond milk from Whole Foods. Um, it's already measured out in there. Then I'm going to use organic coconut palm sugar. Again, I got this at Whole Foods. You could also get this at Kroger, Market Street natural grocers. Um, it's low on the glycemic index and it looks like brown sugar. I don't know if you can see it. I prefer this over stevia or stevia, however you say that. Um, so we're going to use that. And then we're going to use cocoa. This is actually not Ghirardelli cocoa. I'm just using the container. It's Terra Amazon, I think is the, the brand, but I just saved this. But if you wanted to use the unsweetened cocoa powder from Ghirardelli, that's the one you have to use. Don't get the one with sugar and there's other things that you don't want in it. But So those are our three main ingredients. So other things you can add to it to make it a little, a little bit better is I add a dash of sea salt. I sometimes add cinnamon or a drop of peppermint or vanilla. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to put the stove on medium heat. I'm just going to pour the almond milk in there and we're going to let it warm up before we put everything else in it. So... See you in a little bit. All right, so the milk is warmed up now, and I'm going to put in the chocolate. So we're going to put two teaspoons of this, and we're going to put three teaspoons of sugar. So depending on how sweet or how chocolatey you want, you want to mess with those ratios. And we're just going to put a tiny bit, ah, not a tiny bit, lies, tiny bit of salt. Then I'm going to whisk that up. And it's already hot so it mixes in. I always wait till it's hot so I can mix it right away. And make it nice and frothy. And then I'm going to pour it into my handy glass that I got for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> And done. Kind of messy, but and noisy. But there you have it. Hot chocolate that's semi-healthy. Don't drink it every day. All right, that's it.